While not as groundbreaking as some of the other entries on this list, the Troll Rock nonetheless is a great episode when it comes to further cementing Trollberg as Hilda's forever home. First off, let me just say that this opening scene has got to be one of the saddest things I've seen from the show. Like how dare David for stealing that baby troll away from her man. That just ain't cool. I like how it showed them as mean and vicious while also letting the audience know that it wasn't just for whatever, let's go inside this place. This troll specifically also reminds me of John Wick. And yeah, this is honestly one of the few opening sequences I've actually really enjoyed watching. As for the rest of the episode, it's pretty wild. And there's definitely a lot going on than what you would see in a normal Hilda episode. It starts off with this guy fixing some sign for some reason, and right in the middle of talking to Hilda and Joanna, he just starts beatboxing? <laughs> Why this was needed, I'm not really sure, but hey, kudos to him for being so passionate about sharing his poem. Huh, I'm wondering now actually, what would Edmund feel about the fact that Trollberg decided to let trolls into their city after the Mountain King? He's probably rolling in his grave as we speak. Then after all that we get into the classroom, everything's normal for a while, and I know David mentioned this in the episode, but how did he not notice that the rock he had was growing more and more as time progressed and, probably more concerningly, how did he not notice that there was a big ass nose on that thing? I mean, as Frida said, they really don't want people putting these things inside their walls on accident. So with there being troll drills and all this talk about slaying them, you think by now these teachers would have told these kids to spot the difference between a troll rock and a normal rock. But that apparently wasn't on the class's agenda at the time. Also, I'm not sure if David saying that bringing a troll inside would land you 100 years in jail is a joke or not. I'm assuming it's not because nobody really bothers to go against that, but this whole situation is kind of confusing me. First of all, how the hell did this troll manage to get near a school like this? It sure as hell isn't anywhere near the walls, and by that point, Safety Patrol would have gotten her ass not even 5 seconds till she came up from ground. If not Safety Patrol, then civilians will most definitely notice it trying to roam around the area. Second, how no one got in trouble for this and the Safety Patrol just completely ignoring it is no short of a miracle. I mean, if they were serious about this stuff, wouldn't a giant creature like this have had word spread around by now? I mean, it's a nice ending that clearly shows that not all trolls are bad and some of them just want to be good parents to their kids. But like, assuming if Eric Alberg was in office at this time, I most definitely wouldn't let that slide. And third of all... <laughs> Uh, you know what, I am getting way too off topic with this, so I'm gonna just continue the rest of the episode. I really like the conflict between Hilda and Holgrim because it's one of those rare moments in writing where you can actually see both characters that fall for several things. Again, I love how absolutely no one questions why a rock has a big ass nose on it, but if even Holgrim didn't know what it was, then there's something seriously wrong here. Also, David was literally standing right when the projector got hit, but as soon as Hilda shows up to help, she's the one to get blamed for it? Hey yo, what the fuck? I mean, I kind of get it though, like, if Hilda was disrupting every class session up to a point where she started rambling about apple monsters to absolutely no one in the class, it's easy to point fingers at a problematic student like that. Also, does this mean that Hilda didn't even know basic math? And yet she's still smart enough to sabotage a bell operation, haha! <laughs> oh, what a joke Alberg is. I'm surprised that when David was dancing with the troll rock that they didn't go out of their way to make an alien reference. But honestly, maybe that's for the better since I'm not a huge fan of pop culture references anyway. And jeez, what is with the sass on these people's faces, man? Oh my god! And how the hell did David not break every bone in his ribs during his dance? I swear, I, I think my man might be Superman or something after this. And... Oh no, don't say it, don't say it. Overall, this is a pretty great episode. It's funny, it's crazy, and it's definitely a fun time all the way with an outcome that would end up being pretty important to the events that would lead up to the Mountain King. Miss Holgrim may be a bit of a bitch sometimes, but hey, that's her job as a teacher, isn't it? 8 out of 10.